I'm a what? Yeah, now you're quiet. You're quiet, right? This is what we're talking about. What are you? This is what we're talking about, right? What am I? How about tell me? Tell me what I am. Tell me, tell me what I am. A lot of people thought this year was a throwaway year, but perhaps this is the year that gives us 2020 vision. Say their name, Say their name, Say their name, There's a huge movement underway currently. We all know this, we all know why it started. Breaking news in the killing of George Floyd, his cries, I can breathe, sparking protests across the country over the last nine days. At a time when police misconduct is in the spotlight, There's a social contract that we all have, that if you steal or if I steal, the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. Yesterday we sat down to try and figure out what we we're going to say and how we we're going to say it. What actions did we want to take both as people and as a company? In all my time in Corridor, and I've had an incredible time here, we've never discussed race and our experience with it in America. Now, I was hesitant to have this conversation for many reasons. It's an incredible way to carry. I wear this skin every day. The pain of my ancestors is literally embedded in my DNA. So I don't want to misrepresent my community or send the wrong message. Some might say by having this discussion, you bring the monster back to life and feed into the divide that we sometimes pretend doesn't actually exist. But the opposite is true. By having this discussion, we're able to address the fact that there is a bubble. And now, it's time to pop that bubble. But okay, you might ask, how does any of this help? How do I help? Should I even help? Right now, there's many mixed signals. Donations, marching, staying silent, being vocal, posting on Instagram, rioting. Everyone is taking a different approach, and many people still don't know what to do to support the movement, nor do they understand it enough to make a difference. So I wanna give you the most recent example of lingering systematic oppression that is still present today. Literally yesterday, I'm riding my one wheel, I'm coming up on the right hand of someone, and I say, excuse me, on your right. I pass by the man, he was a little startled, but then I heard him screaming. So I take off my headphones, I look back, and he's yelling, you stupid don't ever pass me. Literally, right there. This is what we're talking about. What are you? This is what we talk about, right? What am I? How about, tell me, tell me what I am. Tell me, tell me what I am. Exactly. This is the problem, people. This right here. This man feels superior enough to talk down on me as if I am nothing. As he's yelling at me, I'm looking at him and I just, I feel bad for him. I'm pretty sure this is something that was taught to him, regardless of where he's at today. It just proves that this hatred is so ingrained in his heart, it still bubbles to the top. So back to the conversation. We sat down and tried to figure out what actionable steps we could take. And this conversation lasted for five hours. And it wasn't until the end of that that we realized we had actually just done the most valuable thing we could do. We had popped the bubble. We had addressed the elephant in the room. Prior to the horrific killings of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and George Floyd, I would never have had this type of discussion with the guys. I would have been in my own bubble with my black friends discussing our pain. Like, the fact that I would just discuss it with my friends and come in and just as business as normal is, is a problem within itself. You know, we have to be able to be open and acknowledge that there is a problem. That's, that's, the, that's the beauty in, in this new revolution that we're living in and that we're discussing things that we never, that we pretty much ignore. It's the elephant in the room and we are, we are fully addressing it. We're standing right in front of it and being like, yo, this isn't right. It's a great feeling, but you know, it doesn't just, it doesn't stop after that. It's like, we, we are making a change for the future, you know, for your kids, you know, for your kids, for everyone's kids, honestly. Like, and that right there is just amazing. Like this moment right here, me and you chilling and talking about something we've never, we, I've never had a discussion like this, never. Through conversations, bad ideas get exposed to sunlight and they wither away. So here at Corridor, we would like to encourage you to go out and have a hard conversation. And if your views cannot withstand being challenged, then perhaps those views aren't worth having in the first place. I've been dying for this ice cream all day. Mm. You can't go wrong with cookies and cream and a cone on top. It's like a spoon. Oh yeah, oh, okay. Okay, so this video is part of an ongoing conversation to help educate the world on steps that we can take to help 
end systematic racism and the vilification of black people. Let us know in the comments below the conversations you plan on having or if you've already had these ongoing conversations. Because if we keep the conversation going, this doesn't just become a fad that fades, it becomes part of our culture. In the description, you will find a compilation of organizations that you can donate to. If you choose to add to this, please DM my friend Royce. And he will be more than happy to add any type of information that can help this movement continue going. Thank you so much for watching this video and let's change the world together.